Great half of basketball game, one of the Eastern Conference semifinals between the Cavs and the Raptors at Air Canada. Up there in Toronto, DeMar DeRozan leading everybody with 15 in the first half, but it's just a 60-57 to 57 game after Toronto led by as many as 14. Raptors have not trailed in the game. American Express Halftime Report. Ernie Johnson, Shaquille O'Neal, Kenny the Jet Smith, and Charles Barkley. Much to get to here in this first half on a high-scoring first half, 60-57. to 57. The American Express teammates from the Toronto side, Kyle Lowry, DeMar DeRozan, Jonas Valanciunas, and... You see DeRozan, 7 out of 10 from the floor. Kyle Lowry has 10 and 6, 11 rebounds for Valanchunas. LeBron's got 11 for Cleveland, but he's not their leading scorer. J.R. Smith has 14, and Jeff Green, Charles, 13 points in the first half. Four out of four from the floor, so they are getting offense from somewhere other than LeBron. Well, they have to run in plays. They're not just giving it to LeBron, let them go one on five every time. I've been critical of this offense at times because, you know, I don't I don't know what Ty Lue is doing sometimes. These guys are good players. You just got to give them opportunity. They're going to get in some type of rhythm. LeBron, as great as he is, you just can't give him the ball and have everybody stand around. That doesn't work. Uh, but those guys are going to have to play well uh, because Toronto has the best bench in the NBA, and everybody going to have to play uh, if they're going to be competitive in this series because Toronto has the best team. Uh, and Cleveland. they're going to win this series, in my opinion. Cleveland shoots 64% in the second quarter after shooting 30% in the first quarter. DeMar DeRozan leads everybody in the first half. Shaq, what you got? We all know in life that before you succeed, you must first learn to fail. And Toronto Raptors have always failed against Cleveland Cavaliers. So DeMar DeRozan and Kyle Lowry, you know, they're saying, you know, this is our year. Uh, they do have a better team. They do have the best bench, but he's coming out aggressive. The first play, coach called his play, and you like that as a player. When they call your play, you hit that first shot. Now you're ready to go. Right here, he comes off two screens. James Harden like move in the paint. He does that very well. He's playing very well. Aggressive, 15 points. He's ready to go. However, you have to maintain that 48 minutes when you're playing against Le a LeBron team because you know now that LeBron has his guys going. They're very competitive. You know, at one point they were down high double figures. Now it's a close game because the other for the Cavaliers are, are hitting shots. Well, it because is. he did something he didn't do against the uh, the last series. He actually took LeBron out in the first half. Yeah, you they, can't they, put they, that all on Lou too. It's like I think Ty Lue got said, to do it. It was also happened. What yeah, you got to play. You got to step up and play. The other players on the team said, I'm going to make a play for myself. Exactly. Some of them I, <laughs> were not. Yeah, you know, they were, it, was like a, it was like a toss back in round one. The coach has they throw to it to him. Yes, the coach does. Oh, the, the coach has to. That's, that's a different I think thing. it's both. It is both. Yeah. But you, you think about what Rozier says when he does his interview. He said, coach empowers me. Mm -hmm. If a guy says, if he never takes LeBron out the game, when he took him out in the first half, that's what everybody started playing with more confidence. Yeah. It's a combination, Shaq. LeBron has to empower those guys. Yeah. Ty Lue has to empower those guys LeBron also. is known as a pass-first player in the last series. As a superstar guy, when the others are not going, you know what we got to do, Chuck. We got to get it going they for They got going when he wasn't he in the game the other day. He just hit two threes in the corner. That's yeah, all he know, did. He get, yeah. That's what he's supposed to do. But I'm saying do. those other guys are good players. Y'all don't get – we don't give them enough credit. Enough credit? Okay. I agree with that. But they're managing minutes for LeBron, too, and so sitting him down with three minutes to go in the first quarter. The guy's been playing a boatload of minutes. What you got? Well, I'm not going to run back. Good. Because it's a lot of, not a lot of time. And my highlights is about sharp as your fade right now. Uh -huh. Y'all look at this yeah. fade. Can we get a close-up on that? Hey, gosh. Let me, let me tell you. Hey, can we no, get a close-up on that, Ant? You, you know what? You know, Turn you know to the my, side. Ah. Whoa, you know, it's sharp. Ah. You know my ah. man. My man Boy. Troy Higgins took care of me today. Boy, Boy. Troy, he's been in wow. here. My highlights is sharp as your fade right now, Ernie. I'm telling <laughs> you. So we go to it. Because this is what basketball is. Penetrate, pitch, find the people. But the laziness of the early going and the adrenaline wasn't there for Cleveland. As we move the ball around, you know, freeze it here. If you look at the middle of the court, look at the three-second area. Nobody's in it. Nobody's in it on the Cleveland Cavaliers. So what does that tell me? That I can get there anytime I want, by pass or by dribble, and then everyone's asleep. But then offensively, they woke up. And here it is. Freeze it again. Not LeBron James saying, I don't have to do every, everything. J.R. Smith says, you know what? Instead of just pulling this three, I'm going to penetrate, pitch, find someone, find someone else, shot. That was not apparent, that ball movement in those games. 
And it was not as sharp as Ernie's fade. Uh, it was not <laughs> as sharp uh, as his Ernie, fade. Uh, there's a couple guys in, up at Toronto I want to give a shout-out to. Wanda Pierce, the actor, and Dulé Hill. They up there for Suits, my favorite show. Okay. Uh, they got the season finale this week. They want me to get them a shout-out. Shout-out to Wendell and, and Dulé. You had a you had a shout-out, too. Yes, shout-out for my youngest daughter, Miara. Daddy loves you. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. All right. <laughs> and what she's is 12. I know you're asking how old Happy she. birthday. Oh, GK's birthday. birthday. Oh, my God. Birthday. Yeah. Man, that's that Ron Jeremy? That's so a we're criminal. So we're shouting out everybody. We're shouting out actors. We're shouting out kids. We're shouting out barbers. We're shouting out uh, producers. Tim Kiley. How many? How old do you think TK is now? Old as dirt. Ooh. That was a 1960 picture. That, man, come on, man. 60s, right? Come on, man. <laughs> 35 there. Ooh, Kenny, you didn't know the shot. No, no shout out. Welcome to, to the American Express Halftime Report. American Express, the official card of the NBA. Playoffs on TNT Conference Semifinals presented by Hulu 60 to 57 as we get you ready for the start of the second half. Let's take a look at the game summary presented by Geico. Toronto shot it well early, cooled off a bit. Cleveland then started shooting the three with regularity in that second quarter, turned things around. And they limited the turnovers as well. Ian Eagle, Brent Barry, Ali LaForce, the rest of our NBA on TNT crew. 14-point lead for the Raptors here in game one. Cleveland cuts it to three at the break. No turnovers in that second quarter. How do the Cavaliers get back into yeah, it? Yeah, how about that? 38 points, zero yeah. turnovers. And all of a sudden, multiple bodies committing to LeBron James. Charles was talking about how they ran more of their offense. It's still initiated by LeBron. And if you're going to put two guys on them, they're going to find the open player. What I liked about the Cavs is that...